Right guys, I was in the process of making a dedicated video on the Grooming Gang paper that was released today, but while going through the paper itself, I heard about the Guardian saying most Grooming Gang members are white, which I thought was odd, considering I had been reading through it and it was not the conclusion I had come to based on the studies cited in the paper. As you can see, the Guardian's gloating headline here that has been amplified by lefty spunk trumpets on Twitter till they are blue in the face is rather laughable. The article title itself is very misleading because the exact same can be said about Pakistani gangs if you pick and choose the study you want to report on from the paper itself. Because it should be noted that their strongest claim to this headline being correct relies on studies where between 20 and 40% of cases had to be ignored because of missing data as they claim. And in the case of the 40% missing data study, the gap between white and what they call Asian is just 2%, which in a majority white country tells anyone with more mathematical skills than Diane Abbott they are beyond overrepresented when it comes to grooming gangs. But obviously we know these people are are not Asian by any stretch of the imagination. You don't just lump everyone into one group like that. Now, of course, white, black, and every other dirty cunt that is this way inclined has taken part in it, so by no means is this strictly a Pakistani, Asian, or any other problem. It is obviously a humanity-wide problem where I expect most of these sick fucks do it because they like kids. But these grooming gang scumbags that spawned this report did it because of their religion and hatred for the British girls, along with being mostly rapey scumbags in general. The Guardian and Home Office report skirted around that, as you would expect. Most of what The Guardian writes in its article is complete bollocks but even they admitted near the end that ethnic minorities are overrepresented when it comes to grooming gangs preying on kids in the UK. It's rather funny how they did not title their article Home Office Report finds overrepresentation of black and Asian offenders involved in grooming gangs relative to the demographics of national populations. Actually, it's not funny, it's par for the course. The Guardian are not allowed to vilify any other race or nationality. White British is fair fucking game though as we know. Now luckily, The Guardian like Twitter is nothing more than a left-wing echo chamber that has no relevance in the outside world, so I wouldn't really worry about it too much, but I thought I had to call it out. Because as you know, it's just complete lunacy, which we actually expect from The Guardian at this point. But that is all I have to say on this Guardian article here. I don't really need to read through it itself, because you all know it will be a great steaming pile of dog shit anyway. It is The Guardian after all. I might actually live stream talking about the Home Office paper rather than record a video talking about it. If I do live stream it, then that will be tonight or tomorrow, and maybe I can get a few guests on with me so we can discuss it. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off.